The diagnosis of polycystic ovary syndrome is more and more frequent. It used to be thought of as only 5 to 10 percent of women in the reproductive age range. Now we recognize that it's probably 15 percent or more. It's the most common endocrine abnormality in women. But we know that it, it is really not uh, just a problem with the ovaries. The name polycystic ovary is sort of a misnomer. We now know that it really is a metabolic problem and as a metabolic problem some of the side effects of the abnormalities are to create problems with the ovary function, adrenal function, and consequently uh, having the problems with, with uh, the reproductive system, problems with ovulation, problems with the menstrual cycles. Uh, in, so in young women it presents as problems with menstrual periods and cosmetic issues oftentimes, the hair growth and acne. In the woman in her reproductive years, it's a problem again with irregular menstrual cycles and an ovulation, not ovulating, so that those women have difficulties getting pregnant. And then it sort of transitions beyond that to problems, the metabolic problems, where there are problems with uh, an increased frequency of diabetes. Diabetes is a much more common problem in our country nowadays. But in general, it becomes a bigger problem after the age of 50. But in polycystic ovary syndrome women, it tends to occur approximately 15 years earlier. So it may occur in the 30s. And so in the 30s and 40s, type 2 diabetes can be much more common. And then uh, because of the abnormalities with the lipids, the elevated cholesterol and triglycerides, it then transitions into a problem for menopausal women because of an increased risk of heart disease because of the irregular menstrual cycles and the ovulation problems. In addition, the problem that occurs as women get older is an increased risk of of cancers, particularly endometrial cancer, but ovarian cancer to some uh, degree as well. But the endometrial cancer it tends in most women to occur not until after age 50, whereas in polycystic ovary syndrome women it can occur much earlier. And in fact, if you look at women who do develop polycystic ovary syndrome in their 30s, essentially all of them have got uh, polycystic ovary syndrome. So it's a, it's a lifelong condition. <laughs>